What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Cable Line Network here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. In today's video, we're basically going to be talking about NASA scientists develop laser powered spaceship that can travel to Mars in 72 hours. Let's go. Now, for a human trip, it'll take a month. For robots, it'll take 72 hours. How much, how long does the actual trip take normally? I actually don't know. I believe it takes a, I think it takes a month and now it's just to send a robot over there. I believe so. Anyway, NASA scientists are working on perfecting laser technology that could propel a light spacecraft to Mars in as little as three days. In order for the spacecraft to achieve faster speeds, the technology is using electromagnetic propulsion systems that use light and radiation rather than current fuel based rocket propulsion system. Now it's about time that we finally got into the era where they're actually using actual energy powered anything. Like a lot of the technology we have now in weaponry, almost anything is basically combustible. Like think about it. How do you light a stove? You burn and shit. Combustible. Now how do you fire a gun? Combustible rocket combustible cars combustible all the shit requires you to burn something in order for you to actually use it is no actual pure energy now with this one since it's not going to use any of it it's actually going to be beneficial because let's be honest the energy that we basically were using up until this point was explosive it wasn't anything that was controlled it was basically a big ass explosion now that this can be controlled we can actually use the energy to its best potential we can actually all the way advance a little bit further in society i mean hey there's a lot of things going wrong here but at least it got some cool technology coming up now the system will currently work best with robotic spacecrafts a robotic probe with a thin reflective seal could travel to mars in three days on the other hand a manned shuttle could reach mars in a month using the laser based system now the estimates that the lasers could accelerate spacecrafts to 30% the speed of light, which was previously unheard of. 30% the speed of light. Holy shit. That's awesome. Using photonic propulsion, interstellar travel may be possible, and sending a probe to Earth's closest star, Alpha Centauri, could take as little as 15 years. I guess before it took like 100 years, something like that to get there. 100 light years or something, yeah. So if you actually went on that 100 light year trip, you will be dead before you reach halfway there. Anyway, now in comparison, the current technology takes four to eight months to get to Mars. It took 37 years for the Voyager 1 spacecraft to reach the edge of our solar system. Good God. So you're telling me that I would have started smoking chronic and then got tired of it by the time y'all came back? Oh no, we definitely need some new energy systems here. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Cable Line Network here. Peace out. Talk to you later. Put in the comments, what do y'all actually think about this? I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. I'm glad that they're actually moving on to more efficient energy. Honestly, I'm hoping they do that with cars. I mean, gas prices are low now, but they might not stay that way forever. I'm guessing none of you guys have been paying attention to the gas prices, and I know you guys have not been paying attention to the stock of the gas prices, and it's been dropping down, which means that shit's about to go up for everybody else. Pay close attention, people. Pay close attention. Now, let's be real here. Us being able to travel 30% the speed of light, that's insane. Now, that's truly a technological breakthrough right there. That is. That's about as technological breakthrough as when we first were able to break the damn atmosphere. Guys, put in the comments, what do y'all think about this? Once again, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Now, let's be honest here i know a lot of people are going to ask why are you so interested with this new type of energy source because bitch when i destroy the world this is going to be my energy source ha 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 all right thanks again for watching once again make sure to like comment and subscribe for more i keep you updated with everything happening with the gaming community as well as the space community